All right, so what's up, guys? It's Matters. We're going to be looking at another Jason Blundell interview done this time with Mr. Dow JD. And again, every time Jason Blundell does an interview with these YouTubers, there's so much information jam packed into these things. Last time with uh, Mr. Dow JD, we saw freaking Origin staffs hinted at. Like, that was absolutely insane. And again, we've been talking about that time and time again. That was really huge. And this time around, we actually have a bunch of pretty interesting topics as well. Stuff I really didn't expect he would talk about within this interview. So, again, the original interview is in the description. Definitely go check check it out and I'm going to play certain parts of it and I'm going to pick out certain key points of information from this that really is hinting and uh, hinting at a pretty insane future for Black Ops 3 Zombies and some also reasoning of why things are not in the game as of now and now this is going to pertain to a lot of stuff returning this is like the interview where he talks about stuff returning from past games so that means old perks returning potentially you know old wonder weapons well not really wonder weapons old weapons in general returning why they haven't returned if they will return all that insane stuff and also, he talks about game modes returning as well, and how he wants game modes to be perfect, and he mentioned turn, he mentioned grief, so a lot of cool stuff here, and again, the main part of this, he mentioned PSG flopper, and there's something really weird they said too, I'll, we'll get to that in a second, um, and again, hinting at this stuff, nonetheless, is just so insane, so let's get to this, guys, if we can go for 500 likes, that'd be greatly appreciated, DLC4 is coming in around like a week and two days, freaking so soon, so the hype is real, man, this is gonna be it. the last couple of videos before for DLC 4 let's get ready it's just gonna be insane man and again this could also pertain to DLC 4 as well because this interview was done a while ago and also we still haven't seen DLC 4 yet the trailer the gameplay trailer is will be on Tuesday so we really don't know the actual features so maybe this old stuff is gonna return and we'll see in a second but I want to start off here with the game modes okay so we're gonna start with the game modes I'm gonna show you guys the clip up on screen from the interview I'm gonna basically summarize it well I'll summarize it after and we'll talk about what his response was but basically He's going to mention, or Mr. Doc JD is going to ask, okay, so whatever happened with game modes? And he doesn't say this, but originally when Black Ops 3 released, I think the whole community thought like we were going to see just an abundance of game modes and just all different objective game modes and grief and even more than grief, like just so many different things you can do besides the normal survival game mode. But when Black Ops 3 released, it was only just survival. And although the Black Ops 3 Zombies is really insanely good, it's just we wanted more and we were expecting more. And Mr. Doc JD brings that up and he says, you know, where are the game modes? You know, we had grief, we had turned, and Jason Mundell responds directly to that. And it, I'm gonna play you guys a shorter clip. He talks and he rants for like six minutes, but I'm gonna play you guys a quick like minute or so clip, basically of him talking about what he thinks about all that stuff. So here you go. All right, next question. And this isn't this is a community one. Okay. Um, have you ever thought of adding more game modes into zombies than just a core survival? Because Black Ops 2 did have yes. risk and turn, and yes. I will admit they didn't quite work. Mm. To me, they felt almost like beta stages of the game sure. mode. Yeah. Has that ever been? I'm sure the, the thought of must have crossed your mind at some point. Yeah, um, big time. Um, I am uh, a huge advocate of extra game modes. Mm -hmm. I have not found a way, and I'm glad that you put it that way, because I've not found a way of bringing something uh, through that I've been happy with yet. Yeah. Um, I, I'm a real, I love- So the camera's just died for the 50 billionth time, so we're now on an iPhone. So the question we were talking about was new game modes, yes. or bringing back old game modes, or just having yeah. more than just a standard survival. Yes. And how we said, well, in my opinion, it felt like the ones in Black Ops 2 were very, really too basic. Mm -hmm. And I think zombies would, would really benefit having another mode, but like you mentioned before the camera died, it's actually really hard to think of something that actually works and makes sense. And here's the thing, so I think the comment I said before the camera died, which was, uh, zombies is a continual experimentation, mm -hmm. um, and, and I love that about it. You know, very few situations in, in game development allow you to truly just play continuously in a in a very much let's experiment with this, let's experiment with that. Yeah. Um, I'm a huge fan, uh, mentally, spiritually, however you want to describe it, of a different game mode, a different game modes, a different ways of taking this formula mm -hmm. and looking at it. Right. I just haven't found a way for something that I'm really behind. Like, there's. Now again, I showed you guys the quick clip at the beginning of that, but basically what went down there is that Jason Mundell, he loves the idea of game modes, like he really wants game modes, separate game modes, different game modes to be within Black Ops 3 Zombies, but his problem is that he doesn't really want just random game modes within the actual game, he really wants it like perfect, 
refined, you know, the replayability value is just 100%. Like, you can go back to that and play it over and over again. He wants it to have a ton of content, depth. It, he doesn't just want it to be some sort of filler game that you play and you never really play again. And I'm not so sure if I played that part in the interview for you guys, but in a later part, he basically mentions, okay, Grief and Turned, they were good and think about the replay value though like you really don't go back to that and play all the time which i sort of disagree i feel like grief despite it's it's not the same as survival it's not the same as going for easter eggs but grief really was like a fun game mode and i know a lot of people didn't play it a lot of people hated it back in the day but it's really something to get eight players in and just have fun and have this just different sort of experience and he basically said although that was fun it really it it doesn't it's not up to my standards and it's he didn't directly say grief but we all know he was mentioning those black ops 2 game modes he was honestly throwing some shade at the black ops 2 game modes. he was like oh well they those aren't really perfect i would bring them but i want my game modes to be 100 percent you know like i want them to be replayable forever the same standard as you know a survival mode as their standard mode which makes sense but I, I don't know man i feel like grief would be insane let me know in the comments below if you would want grief but again he's basically saying he wouldn't rule it out but as of now he really wants to like perfect a certain game mode. and it seems as if he's already working on a game mode and he just couldn't get the perfect one to actually release so Maybe we'll see in the sometime future next year during Infinite Warfare because they're also going to be releasing mod tools through this, so they can also release another game mode. Never know. Maybe I guess next year in three years, which would be just too long. But maybe they're just preparing for Black Ops 4, whatever the next Treyarch game is, and they're going to do actual new game modes then. So we'll see what happens. Moving on here, we have to look at the discussion regarding old weapons, old perks returning, and also the possibility of PhD returning as well. I'm going to play you guys the clip first of Dow JD asking. This is one of the first questions here. You know what's the chances what's the possibilities of these old perks returning and all this insane stuff everyone loves that and jason blundell he gives one of those answers you know jason blundell answers where he really just beats around the bush he doesn't give an exact answer so again this is more or less a hint i'll let you, i'll play the clip for you guys and we'll discuss what he says after that so here you go hey, yeah. will we see any throwback perk return at some point like we've seen with weapons like the pbsh or maybe even more throwback weapons um will we see that um i will answer with a non-definite by saying i love throwback stuff and yeah. i i love the fact that we have a plethora of options that we can bring back in again yeah uh, i wouldn't guarantee anything but i do enjoy doing that it's, it would be a never say never it's the longer version of never say never tell me we'll not three or four we'll never say never now i, I here's the thing when i when i say that line it's because uh Apart from previous times when I've done it, yeah. but um, it's because of a genuine interest in that stuff. I, I do like that stuff. Okay. Um, so I'm not willing to confirm it, but um, it's more expressing the fact that I enjoy that stuff, and yeah. if the opportunity was right and it seemed to fit with something, then mm -hmm. I'd absolutely do it. Okay. And it's a wonderful thing when you made a game for this long. Yeah. Uh, you can just retire stuff and then bring stuff back, and the yeah. fans enjoy that. So. Uh, to contrary belief, I do enjoy the fans enjoying it. So <laughs> people probably think Jason does not like any of this work. Like, He's never going to give us PhD for what God damn it. <laughs> they always talk about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I I love bringing that stuff back, Good. Um, but I, again, it always has to be correct for the map. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Correct for the combinations of stuff, the physicality of stuff. Right. Um, that's that's the limiting factor. Like okay. it's all just sitting there. I have all the assets still, mm -hmm. um, but it's about do they work and make sense. Does it make sense, yeah. right? And sure, can you swap one out for the other? And people would say, yeah, yeah that's great. Uh, that's why we have teams of designers <laughs> who spend time worrying about these things. Yeah. They they look through it and say, this is what we're recommending. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the moment say, oh, please get me this kind of thing, or please do that kind of thing. Yeah. But their job is to be looking at it and design and make spaces and make gameplay that is is appealing. And if we're trying to experiment a certain idea or concept, mm -hmm. they'll say, well, do you want this or do you want this? You know, and and that's the that's the kind of creative element. I'm very blessed with the fact that we have a very talented team here who, you know, spend tireless hours working all this stuff out. Yeah. You know, I get the easy job sitting here talking to you. Those guys, <laughs> do, they do the real work down there. Now, obviously, with the game mode, he, he really gave a lot more discussion, a lot more in-depth insight as to game modes, what they're working on, why they haven't put game modes in. But with this... <sighs> He get okay. He gives. I gotta give him some credit. He he talks about how that like, yes, they want to bring back stuff. It's pretty simple to do it, and it's it's only really a matter of it fitting on the map. So he doesn't just want to throw random stuff on the map. He really wants to make it so like this is something that makes sense 
for this map you use this perk and it just makes sense for the game and again he also said along in the mix he was like i love the idea of old weapons and old perks returning and he has that sort of like really weird smile and it's just like oh my god i guess we all know he wants to say yes or something if we if he is expecting something to come within dlc4 that's another thing as well DLC 4, last chance, last map of the zombie storyline, this would be the time to bring back an insane perk, this would be the time to bring back PhD Flopper, and we'll get to that in a second, because after this he does mention PhD Flopper, but guys, like, it honestly is insane, him hinting at this, it's just a bit more, not really confirmation, but a bit more hope that DLC 4 revelations, we could in fact see something huge, and he likes the idea, it's just a matter of it fitting on the map, so I don't know if that's like a rejection, honestly. I think, you know, he brought back the PPSH, he's brought back a bunch of random weapons, not really as much as we wanted to within this game, but we'll see what happens. He definitely did hint at it, and here's the talk on PhD, which was really weird, and he goes into the discussion again. I think the discussion regarding the it fitting on the map is in a second. I'll talk about why he hints at PhD and how it could be within Revelations. And we'll go on a bit of a different talk there, discussion about that. And he may have also rejected PhD as well, uh, regarding that sort of discussion with, oh, it needs to fit on the map. So this is probably the part with that, and here you go. I'm sure people will still be disappointed though, that there's no PhD football. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, uh, it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. Was that such a long form, was it? I guess so, I guess it's just the most memorable. Yeah. Because at the time it was just so different yeah. for a perk. Mm -hmm. Just jump and cause an explosion. Yeah. I think they, they like that more than the actual no explosive damage. Which I right. thought was maybe a little too overpowered. Sure. Maybe. Yeah. Some people are probably going crazy in the comments right now. So how dare you say Is it because they could do such a like um was it just was it dolphin diving? That's it, it, dolphin diving. <laughs> An ascension in that little like we're near one of the lands, just dolphin diving off the staircase. Right. Just like round fifty, just jumping off, never using a weapon. Yeah. So yeah, mentioning PhD, saying, oh wait, was that popular? I don't know why he said that, but again, PhD, look, he, I, I think what he's hinting at is he loves the idea, we're probably going to see a bunch of old stuff return within this last game. I think PhD would be the craziest perk, the craziest thing, like if they were ever to bring anything back for DLC 4, and let me know in the comment section if you agree with me, I think PhD would be something that we would get absolutely just ecstatic for, like even more than when we saw the PPSH returning in DLC 3. If people scream for that, think about when they see PhD on Revelations, the last Zombies map of the whole storyline, we've been asking for it for legit like five years, legit five years, ever since before Black Ops 2 and we haven't seen it yet in its full, full form, like the actual perk thing. We saw it on Origins, but like that wasn't really good. You know, it was from the Wonder Fizz. I don't know, I feel like we, we need like the original PhD back and it, I don't know, man, it, this could be the time. So again, here's the part where I have to say like, you know what, I don't want to talk about this, but he may have just rejected it at the same time as well. And if you think about it, PhD is the one perk that doesn't really make sense for Black Ops 3. And he says, you know, these perks, I would love to bring them back. These, you know, old weapons, I would love to bring them back, but they need to make sense for the maps we're creating. And PhD just simply doesn't make sense. You know, you literally have to dolphin dive to use that perk for the most part. And basically you can't dolphin dive in Black Ops 3. And obviously you guys are probably saying, well, PhD slider, but I, I guess if they want to do that variant, that would make sense. That's, that's not necessarily bringing PhD back. I guess it is, honestly, because you're gonna if, you, if you're gonna bring PhD back, it has to be in a slide form at that point. So unless he's alluding at, you know, it has to make sense for the map, so maybe they'll change it and then make it make sense for the map. Or maybe he's saying, since PhD doesn't make sense for the map, we're not gonna put it in at all. So I, I don't know what he's hinting at there. He It seems like he's rejecting it because he's obviously saying, you know, PhD just doesn't make sense. Or it could be like, you know what? You never know, especially at the beginning in that other clip we saw where he's just like doing that really random smile and it, you, you, like, you know he wants to say yes, like I said, I don't know. It's, it's just really funny when he hit, does stuff like that. So we'll see what happens. Again, he did hint at it. At least he hinted at it. At least he talked about it because before none of this stuff was discussed. None of like old weapons returning, PhD, and like nothing was discussed here. Game mode, so I'm glad he at least talked about it, especially with the game modes. Gave a lot of stuff regarding that, so it's obviously pretty cool. And um, yeah, hopefully get some more Jason Blundell interviews very soon. Maybe after DLC 4 regarding the future of Black Ops 3, you know, post release and whatnot. So we're well, not really post release, but post its life cycle, post DLC for that matter, with mod tools and maybe some other content during Infinite Warfare. We'll see what happens. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment below if you're watching right now. Jason Blundell, I can read your comments. Thank you for watching the whole video. Really do appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.